What's going on, Pat? Uh, very much. I'm about to learn all about the Bloodborne. Oh, are you excited? Oh, it's so spooky already. Yeah. So you get the Blood Minister here. Are there is the Blood Minister. Who elects the Blood Minister? <laughs> you know, you're really just diving into the politics of Yarna right now. It's going to get complex pretty quickly. Or he's giving you a Blood Ministration. Yeah, he's not the same character as the other guy in a wheelchair. It's progressive of them to have two. Oh, there's multiple. You yeah, actually have to, there's like a whole... Flies in the face of tokenism. A lot of, uh, a lot of enemies in wheelchairs, actually. It approaches, uh, I think, maybe hate crime status. Oh, okay. We're going to kill through the course of this game. That's neither here nor there. So what are we we're looking for? So first of all, let's talk about what we're doing here in Blood. Okay. In this... For some reason, the default character looks like a young Republican. It's kind of my <laughs> vibe. Like this guy was probably campaigning for Ted Cruz at some point. Maybe a Duggar. He doesn't know. He I think he looks maybe like the son of a a Republican senator right now. <laughs> yeah. Maybe just picked up for punching somebody in a bar. Mm -hmm. He's kind of scared, but also a dick because he knows he's going to get out of it. Yeah, let's change that. Yeah, let's change uh, his face immediately. Yeah. So, so, Pat, what do you what do you think of this run? What do you laying well, on well, me? Well, first of all, let, let's talk about what we're doing here. I think we're doing a Simon Belmont run, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're just going to use uh, the the whip, uh, yeah. mostly in this whip mode. And I think, in the spirit of those Castlevania games, we should be using as many wacky items as we can. Sure. Yeah. There's quite a few in this game. Okay. Maybe even a little arcane if we get that far into it. Nice. All right. So let's what? Let's do with the face first. Yeah. So which uh, which vision of so we can go with an existing vision of Simon Belmont or what does he look like? Own. All I know is how he looked in the uh, Ooh, so in the scary. Captain Nintendo cartoon. He was like they made him sort of a Gaston like buffoon, uh, muscle bound. But it looks like a lot of the default character settings in here are uh, more in the uh, Lovecraft protagonist sort of body type. You what know, does they, that mean? Very like like they, they look like they would faint. Was that what he's kind of obsessed with? Uh, I think most of his characters had sort of very weak constitutions. You know, see, they would see something people. and fall over or <laughs> be driven mad rather and than hitting it with a sword. Mercury injections. It's good for the humors. Yes. Uh, How about this guy? He's got a nice broad jaw. A little too pale. Actually, can you make him look as much like John Cena as possible? Ooh, yeah, we can dive into that. Okay. What's a good John Cena preset? Well, I think that was a good good start for the jawline, okay. and then let's try to try to puff it out from there and give him a nice tan. Similar faces. There we go. The one of the lips. John Cena has <laughs> the got lips. prominent <laughs> lips. Apparently, they have H G H in this world too. Really pump those features up. Okay, um, let's go right down to the, the tan because that seems to be bothering you. Yeah. Wow. Okay. After how dark is John Cena? How swarthy is he? Yeah, I was just about to say if this were a uh, truly Lovecraftian game, that would be a swarthiness slider, <laughs> and it would affect your trustworthiness as well as you lowered it and raised it. He really was a terrible person, wasn't he? Not a great guy. Okay, I guess I can make him purple if I wanted. Mm -mm. Is, that, is John Cena purple? No, I maybe give him a little more red. Okay, yeah, you know colors, don't you? There we go. We're getting somewhere now. Um, it looks like by default these characters are supposed to be very pale, fragile-looking wisps. How jacked can you make him? Before we go further down this John Cena route, okay. we need to know how jacked we can make him. Uh, we have to go to body type. Hold on, build. Like I said, very early. Hmm. I can also go to scale, though. You, you can do the different. So we can make the chow, the chest. Everything's cranked. Most they're very uh, Waluigi-esque proportions <laughs> in this game. Um, in that case, I'll just let you create whatever you want to create. But let's fix that hairline. That's my only request. Yeah, is let's I know. Fit, I, fix that. It. Is that is princely? I guess you would say. Ooh, that. that is that's getting somewhere it's very dandy that's go. good i think that's a good place to start for uh our simon belmont some have black hair in again in the captain nintendo cartoon i think he had a sort of uh, strawberry blonde going on really yeah let me grab my phone and see if i can pull him up i could call i whoa <laughs> <laughs> what do you pull up all right, so here is uh, Ga uh, sorry, uh, Simon Belmont from Captain N. 
Uh, he's got the goggles across the forehead. It looks like an Arctic Explorer. That's not really what I pictured. Uh, they didn't have much to work with back then, I think, for like interpreting these characters. They're drawing them out from, you know, 8 bit. 8 bit well, did it again. But I, I, I say let's keep the ponytail. There's actually a wig you can get later, too, that will give you. I can like maybe double up on the ponytails. A okay, bit. great. And he looks like such a GameStop employee right now. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I, f I feel like this guy's asked me if I needed help picking out a 3DS game before, and he had very strong opinions about it. No, uh, I don't need to get too into it. He's got a nice, ruddy complexion. Mm -hmm. He looks like at a school dance, he would do katas instead of dance moves. <laughs> yeah, is there like maybe like a Naruto headman option here I can slap on there? Can we put goggles on his forehead, or is that like... Armor? I think I can, yeah. Let's okay. See. What is it? Yeah, he's, this guy is a steampunk enthusiast in this world uh, that's actually steampunk. Oh, now we can get a little tanner. I'm not liking it anymore. I th I, yeah, no, yeah, you no. You go paler then? Nope. Yeah, actually, yeah. Let, let, let's go full GameStop with him. This is GameStop Simon Belmont. Oh, boy. Yeah, this guy. No, that guy. That guy right there. Yep. Oh, is... This guy, like, he's got maybe, like, some cutoff gloves. Yeah. He's, like, he's, like, really good at poker or thinks he is. Yeah, he's got a lot of Ayn Rand books. <laughs> oh, God, I hate him so much. <laughs> I'm going to want this guy to die. He will, don't worry. It's probably going to happen a lot. Okay, okay. Uh, now you can pick the origin. Um, so this is just kind of your base stats. Okay. Uh, though I'm going to be going into mostly a skill build is what I'm guessing. I like Actually, Trouble Childhood. Yeah, Trouble Childhood. That, that kind of, I think, jives with the rest of his GameStop vibe, too. Yeah. All right. All right, let's do it. All right, man. Ah, uh, what's his name? Oh, be? boy. Um, Matthew like Justin, Lillard. maybe? <laughs> Justin. Uh, Daryl. That's my middle name, you dickhead. Oh, sorry. What's that supposed to be? Yeah, go ahead, call him Simon, but with a, do it uh, with a Y. Yeah, good call. That's like his online handle. Or maybe P-S-Y-O-M-O-N. <laughs> P-S, Simon. Yeah. <laughs> That's the new one. I don't think I've ever seen it spelled that way before. I think there might have been a uh, SSX uh, Extreme character called Simon. All right, cool, man. So let's... Uh... Let's play Budborn.